I think I'm almost back at the staging area. I don't know, this place looks real different without any frickin' buildings. I got the door. Come on. <laughs> Milnet was saying there's riots all over the fucking city. And get this. A coup in Iran. Sponsored by your friendly neighborhood PLR. Stop me if this is incorrect. Farouk Al-Bajir and the PLR seize power in Iran almost the same day as the earthquake. They become a threat. A few weeks later, we send in 50,000 Marines to take them out. We go to war in Iran. Is this a history lesson? What part did you play in going after Al-Bashir? That's a broad question. Well, then I will narrow it down. Your first mission. Initially, our role was to do BDA after airstrikes in the northern quarter of Tehran. Battle damage assessment. Why were you doing that? It was procedure. We were looking for a high-value target fast air was supposed to hit. So far as I can tell, you don't have a great history of following procedure. Tell me about your interaction with Lieutenant Colby Hawkins. She was an F-18 pilot? She? Don't know her. As you went in, she took part in an airstrike on Al-Bashir. Hawkins, we just got raised to alert one. Plans have changed. We're launching now. CAG says we're special today. We're not on station for some whiskey delta ground support. DASK is gonna fill us in airborne, but we are flying a strike mission over Tehran into Maribad Airport. 
Elint has sat images, they think they know where Al Bashir is. So, get your fangs out, Hawkins. We're hunting big game today. That's pretty much it. There's Iranian bogeys in the air already. Pucker factor, 9.7. Rock and roll.
Hawkins. 